Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you a piezoelectric cell that I'm making out of barium titanate. The concept is actually very simple. Uh, basically all you do is you take barium titanate and put it between two conductive surfaces and when you apply mechanical a mechanical force or pressure to it, you know, like your fingers for instance, it will uh, create a voltage. So we shall get started. Uh, I already prepared this. This is 99.999, I believe, percent pure barium titanate, uh, and it's just in a methanol solution. So I can make somewhat of a little slurry, and then I can just take a few drops, put it on, and then the alcohol will evaporate off. So let me set down my camera. I will actually let's give it a good little shake. We'll go ahead and open it. This stuff gets everywhere. It's nice fine white powder. As you can see, it's from some earlier experience or experiments. It's already gotten pretty much everywhere. So give it a little bit of a stir, and we will suck it up. It almost looks like paint, some white paint. As you can see. So, oops. so I'm basically just going to cover the whole surface a few drops. So what this does is it gives it somewhat uh, oops, sort of a nice even dispersion across and basically what we'll do is we'll let this dry um, and then when it's all done I will wipe the edge so I can have a contact and then we'll fold the other over and uh, test it. So I'm going to let this dry and be back in a minute. So now the powder is dried, uh, or the solution I suppose, or suspension. Um, anyways, so we got a nice thin surface uh, or layer of barium titanate. So we will take our other piece of copper and we will carefully set it right on top leaving a little bit of space on either side so we can attach our electrodes to it to measure the voltage output. So once again I'm going to set the camera down hopefully you can kind of see this and I'm going to take these clips and I'm going to clip them onto the sides of this. Um, so I'm actually leaning over here to the edge. Uh, so first basically and drag it over to the edge if you can't see this I'm sorry and I'm going to grab the edge I'm going to take the first clip and put it about halfway about in the center so I apply somewhat even pressure as you can see and I'm going to attach this clip and then bring this one back over here. So now we got a somewhat completed cell. As you can see here, uh, I'm going to wipe this off here so we get a nice clean contact. So you can see here, there's the exposed copper. So let me clean that off and then we'll get to test. So I found out something quite interesting. I was about to record the measurement of the cell that I just made. Uh, but when I went to test it, I wasn't getting any results. The voltage was not changing in the slightest. So this cell on the left is the one that I just made. And then this one on the right is a cell that I made before the video just to see if uh, the way that I made it actually worked. This one worked. This one didn't. So let me show you... Uh, the difference between the two just to show that I'm not crazy so let's hook up this one you set the camera down real quick and let's go ahead and connect these now one thing that I must point out real quick is this side of the glass looks 
like a mirror. Uh, or it also has its own conductive side on it, I suppose. It's actually not. This whole side of the glass is non-conductive. Um, you're just seeing through to a chromium adhesion layer uh, for the copper. Um, so anyways, let's go back to this. So, let's put that focus on there. So right now, I have it set at um, auto scale and to measure the voltage. Uh, so we're sitting at about minus uh, around minus 250 microvolts. So I'm going to press down right now on the cell that I just made and there really isn't that much of a change. Uh, we're going, you know, we're changing about um, 60 microvolts which really is nothing. So let's go back to this cell and disconnect this one. And let me show you the extreme change in uh, the performance of these two cells. Let's see, let's get this. Sorry if it's kind of crappy, but so we'll go back right here. Now this cell is very sensitive. If I even move the cord, attach the oscilloscope, it will change. So I'm going to lightly touch it, you know, it's a large change up in the millivolt range. Bring it out so you can watch the oscilloscope. I mean, okay, just put this into perspective. I mean, I'm going to try to bring it back. And just barely tapping it on the desk. Registers. So. The max that we're getting out of this is about 1.5 millivolts, as you can see. Oh, we almost hit two. Looks like we went off scale. Oh, five millivolts. Wow. So yeah, as you can see, there's a drastic change in these two cells. Um, performance, you know, 60 microvolt change on the one that I just made and a 5 to 6 millivolt change on the one that I made before the video. So I'm not quite sure what's going on exactly. Um, I can maybe theorize that the layer of barium titanate was not very consistent on the new one, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so, if you have any ideas, I would love to know. Uh, please leave your comments and questions below. And please subscribe, rate, and comment. And there will be many more videos to come. Thank you for watching.